Good day everyone, my name is Jesse Jeffrey Matkatz. I'm from the Domino Technical Support Team. Um, today I'm going to discuss uh, how you can enable Domino Document Deletion Login uh, to, to, to log all the dele deletion that is happening on a database. So let's start. So starting Domino 10, there's a new compact task option and that you can enable uh, so that you can uh, log the deletion that is happening on a specific database. So this information is stored in delete.log under the Domino Data Directory IBM Technical Support folder. Uh, then when you restart the server, a new uh, deletion log will be created. Um, the old name, the old deletion log would be renamed as follows: uh, delete underscore the server name underscore the uh, the the date and the time it, it was created. So the same as the console log. So how will you how we would enable this setting? Um, first you would need to have at least Domino 10 server. Then you should enable transaction logging on that server. Then you would run a compact task with specific switch um, to enable on a database. So let's break down that compact task. So the compact on the uh, format for the compact task is load compact, then the database path, dash DL on, then the comma separated list of items. So the data, data path, database path, is specifies the database or a directory of database uh, relative to your data directory. So for example, you can use the mail a folder or the or specific database like the discussion that NSF. So while the comma separated list of items is a list of fields that shows the logs to help you identify which document is uh, is deleted. So this should be a text text list RFC 822 text or a time. Basically, you can check the document properties to see what kind of um, fields are in there and what type of fields you can use for this command. So a sample below, a load compact mail slash admin that NSF dash DL on, then the comma separated list of items will be sent to from delivery date. So let's check the output. So you would see an output similar to this. So the first or the the first one is the date and time, which is highlighted in red. Then the, the blue one would be the database uh, name where the document was deleted. The replica ID of the database would also be shown. And the process that did the deletion in this example and server. And also the name of the server or person who deleted the document. So the next part is would be the type of document deletion. Uh, you, it could be soft delete deletion, hard deletion. You can also uh, sometimes see restore when a a file is moved from trash to uh, a different or to be restored to a inbox folder. So it can also show the class of document deleted um, and the UNID and the field name. Uh, that you input on the OR command would also be sh shown. So in this case, the sent to and the value for the sent to field. And next is the uh, same, um, the second item that we use, the from field and its value, and then the deliver date and its value. So how you can disable this after uh, you monitor the database? So you can rerun the compact co command but but this time uh, you would need to dash dl off. So things to remember um, when entering the compact command, no space inside the comma separated list of items. So the first uh, sample is okay. However, the second one won't um, allow you to to run the compact command. Also, only f uh, the maximum is four comma separated list of items that that is log so so that would be the limit for for this deletion logging